Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Abrazo Football Podcast. We got Brooks and myself, Blaine. And today, another slow week as far as action on the pitch. But in terms of chatter, movement, transfers, it's been quite the week. So let's start things off in the Serie A and Inter, or not in Inter, in Turin, where it's been reported that Paul Pogba has all but officially made his return to uh, Juventus. Brooks, what are your thoughts? I think of Juventus, like, just along with Paul Pogba, has done an amazing business both times with him. You know, they, they, they're getting him for a free from Man United both of these times. So I think it's good business. That's obviously where Pogba wants to be. So I'm thinking that we're going to see his best football. I'm, but I'm not one of those, like, English journalists that slam him every week i think that he's been playing very good football uh with a very bad united side but i do think that obviously this is going to be you know getting even better football out of him especially this year since it's a world cup year i'm happy to see him back yeah man yeah i mean it's it's the yeah they got him like you said they got him twice for free and got about 90 some odd million euros right (laughs) you know what what could go wrong? The only thing, like, I have no issues with Pogba going back to Juventus. I just don't know why. He, I mean, I understand why he would want to, but it's a completely different team than what he left. Like, he left them. They were champions. Beating yeah. everybody by, like, double digits to the Serie A. And now they're, like, fighting for fourth place. AC Milan's getting stronger, and they just won. Inter Milan's getting stronger, and they won just the previous one. Right. And I don't know. I mean, I feel like I, and then like Dybala left. I don't know. I mean, it's him and I guess Locatelli. It, I mean, it's a good business for Juventus. And I mean, if you can go there and you're not going to be criticizing the people love you, and you're going to play, like you said, good football and get tons of minutes in a World Cup year and not also have the stress of getting injured in a Premier League and being abused by the British media. Right. Uh, by all accounts, you know, if your family's happy and you're happy, it's a privilege to play the sport. And, yeah. I mean, so I guess you went into some. So I kind of want to get your take on this. So, I mean, obviously, he did win some silverware at Man U, not the highest trophies that Man U were accustomed to getting, you know, historically. But what would you make of his time at uh, Old Trafford? Uh, I mean, I think that it's it's he himself. I think it – I mean, I think that that could be kind of written off as a successful second spell there. I mean – you what Europa League? Um, I don't know what else they won. Did they win anything else? <laughs> I definitely they, they they won Europa League on, there's under like Mourinho. A, there's, yeah, a couple cups Europa, or whatever. Europa League was the biggest one. Yeah. Yeah. So I so, mean, it's just like obviously that 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 club has been and will continue to go through issues um, since obviously Sir Alex Ferguson left. But also it's just like man, one manager in, one manager out. Uh, especially this last year, it's just been it was it was it was Ollie. It was Whoever was interim, it was Rangnick, it was now Ten Hag. Like, it's just a lot to deal with, especially when the team isn't that good anyway and your owners are the Glazers. So I just think that the British media needs to lay off with this guy. Like, they're mad at him for everything. Like, he can't even come out with a pogmentary on, on Amazon without the British media saying something. So I, I would get out of there as quickly as possible, too. So, yeah, while Juventus might not be challenging for it every single year, like they had been, you know, the last 10 years um i do think that he can bring something to the side and i think that um obviously he's going to be happier there and i think that that's what's most important he knows the style of football he killed it in italy um and that'll probably you know i don't know make him happy bring a couple of his boys there too i think that it'll just be a better place for everyone pog back 